before we begin a disclaimer mr junjunwala is a friend and a well wisher he has nothing to do with value quest except for training ravi for 4 years and uh, all that uh, ravi has learned or majority of it comes from mr junjunwala so my job is to agree it comes with his effort and his keenness to work and his ability to effort i mean he is one person who i'm really happy that he worked with me because he i think the inputs and the results have been very good and i would like to credit more to him than to my office thank you sir for those kind words <laughs> so uh, let me introduce mr junjunwala because uh, a lot of people here don't know him the way i do so we all know he is a chartered accountant and uh, he came to the market with no capital and is a billionaire but uh, how would i describe him see before he came on the scene stock market guys brokers everyone was considered to be you know a low life some of them still are but because he chose the limelight because he chose to address through the media a large number of investors against the advice of his uh, well wishers and friends that uh, today stock uh, investing and broking are not really bad professions and uh, in my knowledge i have met some of the most uh, honest and people with the uh, highest integrity in the stock market in stock market the word is the bond i mean a defaulter in the rest of the market is someone who does not give you a check for 3 months 6 months the banks classify that as a npa in the market if you do not give at 10 am in the morning when the pain is due you are a defaulter so your word has to be your bond now how would i describe mr junjunwala he is a self made man focused entirely on equities he is a man of integrity he is a man of conviction it is impossible to shake his conviction he is very opinionated on a variety of subjects and he is outspoken on all those opinions he is fearless does not matter if a, a minister is uh, listening to what he is saying or the prime minister is listening the one word which epitomizes him is risk taking he is the best risk taker i have seen in my career in the market he is a very good judge and a very quick judge of people their character and situation and he is very transparent you know in our markets people go to such lengths to stop other people from learning what they are doing he is completely transparent about what he is doing it is reported duly in the next uh, day's papers his investments are known to everyone i have a list of his major investments taken off the internet and uh, it is there for all to see so transparency is what he has brought to the market he is moved out of the shadows and that is what i think has given legitimacy to earlier it was all operators no longer thanks to him and i would like you all to welcome him with a big round of applause i must respond to say that there are only three people who i talk to every day and one of them is kalpraj and he is also my house chartist he reads charts brilliantly right and he is what i would say a fundamental chartist i had a friend called rajiv who is no more was also very good chartist but you place some kind of importance to fundamentals and then you see that does it match with the charts for i must thank kalpraj for his kind words but i feel very emotive about one thing in life that i have fought the world and who i care for it i you know i want everybody to do what his conscience wants him or her to do right but i have never cared in the world that what somebody will think if my conscience says that what i am doing is right i don't care for anybody i don't care for any reputation right when i always faced defiance in life to go to the stock market my mama said who will marry me you know i come from a marwadi family you go to the stock market my father said what will you invest where is the capital then you know to go to the press or as our as kalpra said the first thing people used to identify i remember the first time i appeared in a big fight mr adip sadhe sir was trying to point out that i am also another ashit mehta i told him don't worry i haven't stolen money from any banks right 
and we are lucky that we are in this stage of India. And I must thank once again thank Kalpraj. I know I'm fair, but kya kare? A lot of time I think that sir, upon escort ka share leta bolne ka. Isko nahi bolne ka, chup chap lene ka. Hota hi nahi. I can't. I can't like that. You know, look, there is one guy who, who comes, one Adivasi, and he, you know, he, I mean, his his strike ratio in being right is in whatever he plays is unbelievable. He'll tell me, "Bhaiya, bhaiya." ज़्यादा बोलने का नहीं बहुत नज़र लग जाए लोग नज़र लगाते हैं but I can't even mean, that's the way I'm made and fortunately I have no clients except my wife so I have nothing to sell <laughs> right I have no portfolio management scheme so okay. one thing you said sir वो ये बड़ा interesting है आप अपने आप को बनिया बोलते हो हम लोग भी यहाँ पे काफी लोग हैं वानिया same लेकिन ये मारवाड़ी बनी है तो बहुत आगे निकल गए हैं ऐसे बिरला मित्तल जिंदल अगरा लोग ऐसे इंडियन व्हाट डिफरेंस है नो वी वांट यू टू टेल अस व्हाट इज इट किस चक्की का आटा खाते हो क्या करते हो व्हाट इज इट एग्जैक्टली वी नीड टू लर्न टू टेक दैट अस टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल वेल आई नो सी वन रीजन देयर आर सम रिसर्च आल्सो डन दैट आई थिंक सो मच ऑफ वेल्थ हैज कम आउट ऑफ अ रीजन नियर झुंझुनू डिस्ट्रिक्ट पिलानी शेखावत डिस्ट्रिक्ट आई नो एग्री द लॉट ऑफ वेल्थ हैज बीन क्रिएटेड See, partly they say there was, you know, this is a barren land. If you look at Kutch and you look at Rajasthan, both are deserts. So it is in deserts that you learn to face adversity. And the root of the wealth of most people from Shekhawat, the first wealth has come through speculation. Through speculation. Yeah, builders earn money first by speculation. Okay. All the Marwari families who are there, who are more than 40, 50, 80 years old, the first wealth has come through speculation. <coughs> so one thing is they face adversity very well. Second, they earn wealth through speculation. Third, there is a very big feeling of community. You know, you will come from some, first of all. You know, we had a broker called DG Goenka in Bombay. Very rich family, a very big uh, garment exporter. He was I used to trade with him also. He first came he used to live in like a you know pune in uh, in uh, in Kalba Devi. Then five four years later, he bought his younger brother. Then he bought his brother-in-law, so that family or feeling of community and helping each other, I think is also. Then I think it's sheer luck. In luck, no sir. There, there has to be something more which. Uh... Yeah, it is not kalpa. It is for then. It is a. I would say, if, uh, of course, now they have become extravagant, but formally, you know, saving was very important. Right. If you save, you grow richer faster. Everybody knows. Right. And then I would say I don't know. It's it's business and. It's not only Agarwal. See, we are from the Agarwal community. It's very confusing in India. There was an Agar Singh. Raja Agar Singh. Uh, he had 17 sons. Hmm. So you can have a Punjabi Agarwal. You can have a Agarwal from any part of North India. It's the Agarwals also who are extremely rich. Extremely rich. Right. You go to Hyderabad today. There are all the business captured by the Agarwals. Right. So I mean, I don't know about the, any other reason. I come from an income tax officer's family. <laughs> My father had no family business. But both my grandfather and my uncle were speculators, right. and my dad also used to like to speculate. Do you think it has anything to do with risk-taking ability? I think measured risk, calculated risk, calculated risk, and also I feel that see they all came in India went through a very good growth phase, right in the last 40-50 years. So naturally, it was those who were in business at that moment right. who were able to capture. No, but the newer ones also. I mean, uh, Anil Agarwal, for example, it's last 20 years. Sunil Bharti Mittal, so many of them. But see, lot of the Agarwals in the transport business. Why they are in the transport business? Because one fellow started, then he called his brother, then he called his uncle. So all of the whole family of Agarwals. हम भी कच्चे ऐसे ही आए हैं सर. But there is so still a difference. तो कच्चे क्या कम पैसे वाले हैं क्या? हाँ, कम पैसे. Or I don't think so. And what does it matter? Anyway, तो अमरसन अमरसन तो क्या? कहाँ आपके नानजी में हैं ना कहाँ? हैं सब हैं मिलेंगे आपसे लेकिन आई ब्रिंग यू बैक आई आई गिव टू मच मनी टू द टेंपल सर आई हैव आई हैव क्वेश्चन आई जस्ट टोल्ड देम यू आर ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड ऑनेस्ट तो व्हाट इज आर नेटवर्क इफ यू कैन काउंट इट यू डोंट हैव इट आई न्यू यू आर गोइंग टू से दैट तो मैंने थोड़ा रिसर्च किया इंटरनेट पे एज पर द फोर्ब्स लिस्ट यू आर डॉलर वन पॉइंट वन फाइव बिलियन एज ऑफ अक्टोबर टू यू आर नंबर सिक्सटी इन इंडिया And 1,061 in the world. I don't. 
Now, why I am saying and asking this is, how much of that is in equities? How much is in equity? How much of your wealth is in? 99%. 99%? No, because when they calculate, they ask me. So, I, real estate, I said, I have no real estate. I am not real estate. Samaj mein nahi aata hai kya this. Everyone over here understands real estate. Real estate is the place to go. No, no, but the problem there is that I am a single man army. I don't have an organization. I have some bloody land in Alibaba. Of course, which I bought for 60 lakhs. Someone is offering me 16 crores for it now. But every day, koi aa gaya hai, koi ghus gaya hai, wo wall tod diya hai. What the hell? Yeah, I want to live in peace. So that is the reason. No, no, then, then I don't want to deal with politician. Wo kya hai ki udhar airport banne wala hai. So they give a notice that you can't do anything on the land. Oh, sir, five lakh deo, so you will get a notice. I don't want to do all that crap here. Okay, so what? Second thing is also that see, everybody will, everybody will try to, you know, will will be aligned in what he or she has earned his wealth. I want it in equity period here. So what? No, what? Man, your wife is beautiful. Now, what? Your wife is going to real estate. Me, Jani. यहाँ पे तो क्या है कि एक के बाद थोड़ी मिस्ट्रेस चाहिए फिर गर्लफ्रेंड चाहिए तो रियल एस्टेट होता है फिर अदर थिंग्स देट पीपल डाइवर्सिफाइड सो बट लेट्स नॉट गेट इन टू सो यू हैव 99 परसेंट ऑफ योर वेल्थ इन इक्विटीज एंड यू नो दैट द इक्विटी मार्केट्स आई वाज चलू वन थिंग अबाउट जो इन 99 इन 2007 आई थि� so you're a billionaire? Are you a billionaire? I say, surely I'm a billionaire, but I don't know in which currency. <laughs> I was talking about dollars when I said you were a billionaire. US dollars for that. Uh, clarity needs to be there. So, uh, did you always have this conviction? How did you develop this conviction for equities? For equities? See, my father, as all of you know, my father was sometime trading, investing, he had friends. One Mr. Savant from the stock market. At that time, there was no, there were no, uh, what do you call, you know, computers. So he should draw big charts and bring them, you know, and his, uh, other people. So I also got interested in equity. See, different people are interested in different things. Some are interested in cars, some so are interested in... How did you in develop the conviction? Yeah, hear me out. Right? Some interest, all are interested in girls. I was interested in equity. And you know, the price is to fluctuate. So I used to ask my dad, why does price fluctuate? So he says, you look at the news. Some news comes about Gwalior, you know. Tomorrow, in the papers today, the price will go up or down. So I loved, developed a love. And then, I was always an opinionated character. And, I mean, I think uh, it is not that I always think differently. But God bless my father, he always allowed me to do what I wanted. And that further propagated the thinking that I should do what I think is right. Right? And I should not... I never had a, I never had this feeling in life that I can, ma I met Radha Gishan he was, he, he is and was a star, right? So, you know, I never had this feeling that I would have to do a little bit of a job. What is Radha Gishan? I would have to take a little bit of a job. I would have to take a little bit of a job. I would have to take a little bit of a job. So, I never had this feeling in life that I can, I want to earn wealth by, you know, trying to be anybody's job or trying to take something from somebody which is not mine. So in that feeling, I always had a feeling of, and I, I always had this realization, my dad, you know, it was written on the London Stock Exchange, that my word is my bond. So my dad told me, go to the market, never forget this. And I thought that I will do anything in life, but I will not let anybody's money, you know, I will not borrow money from anybody, and see, the, uh, see that's not being paid. Right? You know, I pledged my house to take an OD from the bank. So my wife told my mother, Right? Just three months back. Huh? So, <laughs> my mother is saying, Kya? Real estate leta nahi hai. Jo leta hai, uske saamne loan le leta hai. So I told my mother, don't worry. Suppose I owed money to somebody. Right? And this house was not pledged. If I owe that money, I will sell that house and pay it. You know, that is the thought process my dad put in me. So, Kalpa, apan kiska karte nahi the. So, we got trust in the market. See, because when I was in the market for two, three years, people came to know that, you know, payment to pay, then they run away. All of these people were very interested in the market, especially in the old markets. So, what was not going on? So, I think that helped me develop a 
conviction of what I, I was like that. Today also in non-stock market matters also. If I hear Narendra Modi, I feel him. Period. I'll go on TV and say I'll commit suicide if Congress comes in. <laughs> Please don't say that. But uh, moving on, uh, do you think equities is for uh, everyone? I mean, does a layman also have the wherewithal to invest in equities? Should he do it and whether directly Absolutely. I'll give you a very good example. See, the, everything in life is about approach and attitudes. Right? Now, when you buy an insurance policy, what dream does he sell you? That you have to pay for 1 lakh, you have to pay for 2 lakh, you have to pay for 20 years, you have to pay for 20 years. Right? You have to pay for 1st year premium, 40% of the commission. See, what is the insurance company giving you? 40% of your 1st year premium, the agent takes. And every year the agent will take 4-5%. Now, if you think, why don't the people think about like this about equity? Yes, how do we score say ki I I mean uh, normally I don't talk to people about equity. I used to go to Jeffrey's. So we go to the stock tip push all over the pretty girl. So I told her one share. Some girl came and she said, Thank you. 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 Bus, I gave her the address of the Mahalakshmi race course. <laughs> so, you know, the expectations is, you know, are such, the expectations are such unrealistic. People don't know that the world's greatest investor has compounded his wealth at 22%. So, I think that the, it is for people, see, you want to trade, you trade. Trade is for creating capital. Investment is for growing that capital. Don't confuse them. Right? Because in trading, the risk is extreme. In investing wealth, the risk is not extreme. See, most people say they are investing, but actually their mind is of a trader. That they want to create, you can create un, unimaginable return in trading. I don't say that. But in trading, I can tell you one thing. If, if 10 lakh trade, 9 lakh 99,990 say they made money. And nine lakh ninety nine thousand nine hundred fifty are. That is the real. Are lying. Are lying. What are trading me? You have been a broker, master. Kalpa, you know better than me. Ki end me to kya dabo alai kamata hai na. So it's a reality. The question one is approach attitude. That see if the return in other asset classes can be ten eleven percent safe return. Equity can give you eighteen percent. I think will be for me. If I get 18 percent, I am a king. If I get 20 to 1, 24 percent, I am an emperor. So therefore, this approach and attitude that this is not a Mahalakshmi race course, right? And you can get a rate of return which is maybe 50 to 75 percent higher than other asset classes, right? I think it should be the approach. Then, then you know, you should also have the same dream that 18 percent में चार साल में double होते हैं, right? Eight years four times that. Who just insurance wala kamaat hai? Usse we get much greater return. And today it's tax free. Instead of that, people come when two thousand two has to catch people on the road and tell them sell your bloody wife bangles and buy equity. Nobody would buy. Two thousand eight, my sister, my in law some wedding. One guy came eighteen ninety years ago. Jijja ji kya lege? Jijja ji kya lege? Me bola bhagya abhi zar kuch le mat. Again he came after me. I said, why? What do you, I'm telling you, don't buy anything. Jija ji, aapne kamali hai, humko nahi kamali din hai. So, you know, this is a general. So, see, this attitude where I can, you want to trade, don't mix it with investing. De phatabad, le phatabad, you can do. Right? But that's different from investing. Investing is where it's your capital. Right? You have an attitude of return of 18 to 24 percent. It could get higher. Right? But I think 18 to 20 percent is what we should do. Uh, so, uh, uh, ancillary question. Uh, how much should they allocate to equities? We can put up to 100 percent. We should think about it. That's why I ask you. Here, there is no percent of anyone. No, I would say first thing is to buy a house. Right. Every couple in India, first primary investment until they have a house, equity should be zero. Because <coughs> primary wealth is house. Right. Right. After that, I will say up to the age of 45, 50, I would say 80 percent of equity. And uh, the second question is directly or through MFPMS? I would say mutual fund and investment 
uh, pharmacy it's a specialized job. See, when I get fever, I take some prosine, prosine, go to sleep. I'll get, I'll get well in one day. My wife and my mother, they will insist on calling a doctor, right? So this is a professional help you need. And fortunately, the kind of, uh, unfortunately, the kind of effort needed, alertness needed to be a good equity investor, you know, it cannot be a part-time job. If you're a full-time full investor, why well, anybody can develop knowledge, understand, and invest on your own. But if you're doing a job, friend telco lelo. So all those approaches don't work. I think you need professional help. And I think professional help is available at very low cost. You need to, you know, join, select the fund manager. One open-ended question for you, sir. We always approach the market to our perspective. But what does the stock market actually mean? What is the importance for the country as a whole? Well, I'll give you a slightly long and boring answer. That, you know, nobody, everybody has gone to the stock market. But nobody knows why the stock market is there, what is the purpose. Since the industrial revolution took place, companies never needed large capital. It's only after the creation of the industrial revolution. Now, this large capital could not be given by individuals. So you people, entrepreneurs had to garner money from a large number of people, right? Therefore came the idea of the joint stock company. Now the owners of this capital needed instant valuation and liquidity of those assets. You know, there was a lot of capital needed. How do you get capital? By issuing shares. And the, and the concept of joint stock company came. Now the company, there was one guy who owned 40%, but there were thousands who owned 60%. So th those shares were more saleable if they were liquid, right? And they could be valued at all points of time. And who would do that? The stock markets. Therein rose the requirement of stock markets. And what is the importance of the stock market? Why did Russia fail? I want to ask you a very good, simple question. I think communism is the most and best form of government, but it's the most impractical. If I ask you, why did Russia fail? Russia failed because the state was allocating capital. In America, it's the markets which allocate capital. Therefore, that capital is used efficiently. Why did Narutam Sikseria become a man who had half a million ton plant of, of uh, cement in 87? By 2005, he was the largest producer of cement in this country. Why? Because he ran the plants more efficiently. Because he ran the plants more efficiently, he could raise capital easily and cheaply. So the purpose of the stock market is to allocate capital efficiently. And that is very important because that determines the rate at which we use our fixed assets. How do we have growth? India's saving rate is 30%. Now what is the rate at which you have a return on that 30%? 5%, 6%? The higher the rate, the faster the growth. So I think the importance of stock market is I know I'm able to communicate my thoughts is extremely important in any society, or at least in any capitalist society. Okay. Now, you always say that you are bullish on India. This kind of government, corruption, business unfriendly environment, how can you still maintain your bullishness on India? See, you want, I want to ask everybody one question. Ask yourself one question. Are the problems in India structural or cyclical? India has grown its base rate of growth in every decade since 1950, regardless of the problems the country has faced in the decade. Okay, right? fair point. Now, do you think the problems that have arisen in India, are they structural or are they cyclical? Do you think they are problems which can't go away? <coughs> are they problems like the demographic problems of the Western world? Or are they so see, to my mind, the problems are largely cyclical. And what are the problems? Corruption, right? Mismanagement of state resources, and having social welfare faster than you can afford it. I think these are the key problems. Business unfriendly environment. Business unfriendly environment is, I don't think, I think business is more corrupt than the politicians. Okay. Right? And when you, Think of corruption in India. I feel of one song 
saying hum sab chore hain only the degree varies i want to know one indian who doesn't cheat on his taxes and only the income tax officer is corrupt and we are not corrupt let us recognize that and be bold enough to say that so that corruption is a collaboration right between the state and the and the tycoon so i would have been very now i think we are a democracy there is a realization both on the political side and on the business side that see today you can't do what you want transfer kara denge paisa de denge minister ko bula ke aisa kara denge people have to be more careful and will be more careful in the sense second there is a now an opinion on the political side that boss we have to accentuate investment all this environment and all this is taking india back right and also i think it's an evolution because now will you be able to give the coal mines without auction and estimated if the government of india auction mines every year we get 50000 crores of revenue so says mr nimish sir now there is a gentleman from coal india over here x and he is also saying it's going to auction way auction and you're going to get 40 50 down close here so and you know no society has evolved without going through this process right see i i i'm not any professor i'm rakesh nola share bazar ruch <coughs> i don't know much about politics but i can observe my greatest observation is that what india has you cannot take it away you cannot take away the skills you cannot take away the democracy right the non required indians also they come to india why they come you know gandhi ji was also an ri so let's not berate them so so i feel the factors that drive india's growth cannot be reversed right and this problem is cyclical rather than structural at the same time kalpa ji are creating the institutions which will tap the financial markets see progress is taking place at each stage right now we have raguram rajan as the finance minister i think if we get bjp government they may merge all the banks it makes no sense for bloody one owner to have 14 banks there is the labor unions which are resisting no but they will fight them no the labor unions are fighting so many things they are saying no casual labor this that but if there is a swell of opinion and raguram rajan said no i have no constituency there nothing to lose he can't be removed he doesn't want a second term yeah that is one of the brilliant things that has happened to india so sir uh, uh, financial instrument what is this demographic dividend and uh, india has a large saving rate when do you think that uh, financial alloc allocation to financial markets and equities will happen from that uh, large saving rate abhi yes all the gold the allocation to gold has gone down dramatically in the last six months gold to return also is in uh, negative <coughs> from these levels uh, urban equity urban real estate also the builders themselves feel that it's difficult for them uh, to appreciate no no the real estate there is one benefit no i'll give you a joke i'll give you a reality i was invested in a company called nagar no construction i met you know i met his md he said rakesh in hyderabad the land prices are so bad that you know at the peak land near hyderabad airport sold at 3 crore rupees now someone had a leveraged position he le sold his land for 30 lakhs per acre right <coughs> But if you ask anybody who owns land in in the airport, he'll say three crores are not enough. Right? So in the equity case, it's like that. Titan's value is 200, but real value is 2000. So equity, real estate, what is it? Illusion. You never know the real price, and there is inability to liquidate. Right? 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 Right that it is hardly leverage wealth which is put into real estate the leverage is with the builder not with the investor right and i don't i mean i have on what basis i can say that real estate will not give a return but i think lot of the real estate is also a bubble like you you have flats in south bombay which sell for 1 lakh 10000 rupees a square feet ab panch flat nikalo bechne ke liye price will be 80 rupees सर आपने 180 करोड़ में लिया है वो आपने कितना नफा चुका अपना मजबूरी का नाम गांधी जी बीवी थप्पड़ मारे तो ऐसा ही है दूसरे भी है ना वहां पे चुकाने वाले नो बट यू कैन यू गेट फाइव इट वेस्ट लेट अस सी प्राइस विल क्रैक बाय पड़ी बट यू थिंक सो 100% देयर आर नॉट सी देयर इज अ बिग स्केसिटी वैल्यू एंड 
and that scarcity value will get four five. How many flats are transited in the six buildings, seven buildings in Bombay? We have prices about one lakh or around one lakh square feet, right? How many flats are transited? Transacted? Not more than three a year. Oh, line wala kono? Oh, jisne borosen le pay, 800 crore me jaga becha. Oh, bola thi ya real estate to bhi gatta nahi hai. Ya flat le lo 100 crore me kya fark pad? No, so the question was the financial savings. When will it come to equities, or will it? Well, it will come. That's why we are investing in equities. वो तो क्या अभी इतने सर्च होकर निफ्टी सात हजार हो जाएगा तो पाप पाप आएगा सात हजार एक समय मम्मी आएगी सात हजार दो समय चाचा आएगा अरे आप अपना काम ठीक से कर नहीं रहे यू आर द गाय पीपल फॉलो यू कीप शाउटिंग फ्रॉम रूफ टॉप इन्वेस्ट इन इक्विटीज बट जस्ट पीपल डोट वेरी गुड इंडिकेटर नो आई शाउट एट द रूफ टॉप पीपल डोट इन्वेस्ट मीन्स बुल मार्केट ऑन इट्स वे इन शाह वेर आई गो टू कॉकटेल पार्टी नो वन टॉक्स अबाउट इक्विटी यू नो नाउ टाइम एज कम so uh, coming to uh, favorite topic of yours politics what do you think sir next elections general elections and this december see i personally feel bjp will bjp by itself will not get less than 200 seats i am only doubtful about one thing so not the nda you are talking bjp 200 bjp bjp 200 seats so the only thing which i have doubt if you have the elections today Question is how far he will be able to pull this popularity. There is 85 percent chance he'll do it because they have got such nuts on the other side. <laughs> no, no. What are they doing? I mean, they are saying there should be no opinion polls. Tomorrow they will say there should be no press. Then they are saying that because some TV channel compared the speech of Manmohan Singh to what Narendra Modi said on August 15, they sent a notice to the channel. Will ban you? I mean, this kind of uh, thought process is self-destruction. But the most of them know, "Marto gaye abhi kya hai jala nahi." So I have no doubt that BJP will form the government. If every Indians can't be so unlucky, that will be ruled by the Gandhi family. Actually, you think of yours. You think of it. That you know, we Indians are very mild. Thirty-eight years old, never held an executive position. Never done anything responsible in life. You want that person to lead that party, and you want us to vote. I mean, I find it incredible. You know, I find it so incredible, like Indians praising Harshad Mehta. Kya hua bank se chori kya paisa do laya? Is something like that. So, I mean, I have, and I mean, second thing I also think my opinion also is because, see, we have trends. in the trends are highs are all much higher than what we ever dreamed and and the lows are far lower than what we ever feared so trend is my friend and one thing i can tell you he is a master strategist well <coughs> he knows how to create a campaign say what he should say and he's got some very good people i i think i consider myself and india unlucky if the bjp doesn't win and also i want to say there will be some Muslim friends, sir. I have nothing against any religion. That you know, we are. Amma, uh, let me interrupt. Your biggest fan is a boy called Hussain over here. Hussain, get up. He's ten years old. Okay, he is. He studies with my niece. He's in Hillspring. Okay. He's. He's. A, he reads everything which you write. He's your yeah. biggest fan. No, no, I'm not. I, I'm not trying to say anything against Hussain. Uh, some of the best food in my life, and some of the closest friends I have in life are Muslim. But the way these politicians are mistreating these Muslims, and you know, trying to only play to Allah, Allah, instead of trying to actually improve the status of the community by emphasizing on education, right? I think the onus of that falls on their leaders. They won't listen to. Anyway, moving on. So, uh, you think one person can make such a difference, granting you that uh, BJP will win? You think one person can make that big a difference? Well, he is making. Will he be allowed to? Will he be allowed to? First, people were saying that you know he, they will never nominate him as president, or they will never, never nominate him as prime minister candidate. The question is, Kalpaj, I think see what happens if he wins. Then, in that wave of optimism, he will be able to do a lot of things. Now, if those things turn out to be successful, then nobody will question. No, there will be a six-month honeymoon period. I am just saying, will he be allowed? 
please. No, Kalpraj, but in that six month honeymoon period, he will take a lot of action, no? If he takes action and those actions prove positive, right? And see, he is not known to make promises which he can't carry. He said when he became Chief Minister of Gujarat, there was so much power shortage. He told the people, it's going to take 24 to 36 months. I can't do anything tomorrow. And there is so much low level fruit lying. And also I think if the Congress loses a lot of states, then his ability to bring reform will be very good. Because he needs the cooperation of the states. You know, one thing they want to do is, they want to make labor a state matter. Completely. Right. Once you make labor a state matter, Gujarat can abolish all these labor laws. Once Gujarat does that, they'll get triple the investment. So then the state, you know, the other states will be forced to do it. There will be competition amongst So them. there are various, he's going to set up a special cell for iron, for uh, uh, this onion prices. My mother is going to vote against the Congress because of onion prices. She's 78, she's voted for Congress in every election. She used to wear khadi until the age of 18. But she's going to vote against it because of onion prices. She says, I'm, I'm very happy when she says. Nabbe rupi onion ka bhao gaya, koi baat hai, koi government hai. Anyan is going to dig their grave. Anyway, so, sir, don't you think the Indian markets now are no longer dependent on uh, domestic uh, things alone? Uh, they are integrated globally and that global flows play an increasingly important role. So, what happens globally also will determine what happens to India? No, but what happens globally is not going to see. The area where the market is very much globally related is IT and farm. Right. right. See, the Indian market share in the whole outsourcing is so small that 15-20% growth, 15% growth, regardless of the growth in what happens there, of course, some disaster happens for Bad Dusi, right? And so the Dawai to Khanai Padega, na? So, and the generic revelation is going to increase. So, I don't think IT, IT may be more affected, pharma is not going to be. I was talking more in terms of fund flow from abroad. Fund flow of abroad, it is our best moment today. I mean, the kind of money that come, can come into India, right? If we get our, if we get our acts right, it's unreal. So, 15 billion, you think this is not a big sum? You think 15 India, billion. 15 is what we have received uh, so far, 16. No, but 11 billion is in for, talking of FDI or? No, FIF flows. FIF flows, I think more important FDI flows. I think the amount of FDI flows that can come in is, is nothing, we have nothing tip of the iceberg. Right. And also the, see the debt, if the rupee stabilizes. See, one thing is that we made a, we made a lateral mistake. By not depreciating the rupee, rupee was, for, was 40, was 48 rupees in 2001. Or 47 rupees. Right, and then it was the average 44, 45. And always the inflation in India was higher. So because of this capital inflows, we could maintain the value of the rupee. He said, what we should have done, we should have depreciated the rupee by 4-5 percent. Right. So now 61-62, you can expect 3-4-5 percent depreciation of the rupee every year. Okay. Right, 5 percent I think would be desired. Right. And I think once that stabilizes, the kind of money that can come into this country is un. <coughs> right. I mean, uh, and it's, see, all the, the multinationals are no less I mean, in this shell case, it's very interesting. He has made a provision in the Income Tax Act that if any company issues shares at a price which is disproportionate to the value of the share, it will be treated as taxable income, right? Now, shell has issued to subsidiary, but it is issued at par. Now, there is no specific provision in that section. They should have said if issued to a subsidiary, regardless, it will not be. He's put a 5,000 crore demand. The IT was absolutely right. That is what the law is. And shell should have studied that law. Am I, am, I, am I right in that? Yeah, there are two presidents of ICIA who will probably be better <laughs> able to put okay, better life. happened in Shell's case? The dialogue you said was, Majburi kana matma. We need their money right now. Let's, let's not try and tax them too much. What are your views on interest rates, sir? Nine plus yield, you think it will sustain? It has to go down, right? I don't think that Indian prices can determine the future of India. I mean, fruit ke prices mein kahin to... Interest rates, I am talking about interest rates. Ah, but the thing which is getting inflation is food and fruit. And what Mr. Chidamram is saying is absolutely right. That inflation is primarily in proteins. Vegetables, eggs, fruits, fish.
fish meat now these are the pl- and where india has raised milk production by 6% every year from 1973 we are the largest producer of milk in the world i think right. the question is how do you increase the supply of these items second problem also this is arising because of your welfare schemes and your fiscal deficit you are giving by power to people without commensurate creation of assets so i think india will have to live with until we attack this food problem we'll have to live with 6-7% inflation and i think interest rates will come down when onion prices go down all right so uh, sir most of the people over here are always interested in what you buy i have been interested in why you buy and how you buy what you buy so can you throw a little light on your uh, investing philosophy and style see all this philosophy and style and all are too sophisticated words i want to tell you mr dhawani made a fantastic return in bst why did he buy the share only two reasons he thought cigarette demand will go up in india regardless of whether there is banning of advertising but he knew that with the banning of advertising no new brands can be created you tell him he, this is the logic on which he has bought it that new, no demand will go up no new uh, brands can be created then change the pricing power to the existing brands abhi unhone yahi research ki aur koi research nahi ki let me tell you nahi phir bhi thoda share some light and the valuation in relation the valuation that was there i mean uh, how i buy share Sir, let's take a live example. Titan, how did you decide zero down on Titan? See, I didn't know zero about Titan. One day I was sitting in the office, I was very, I was very bullish. So there was a broker called Daki. He called me. What is it? When the share bazaar is, sometimes lot ka discount hota hai, sometimes lot ka premium hota hai. Or I thought Tejji mein premium hi rehta hai. Everything was going up. So he called me. He said, Daki, I have five lakh Titan. चौंतीस का भाव है आपको बत्तीस में देता हूँ तो आई कॉल्ड ऑफ माई फ्रेंड कल अमल नो कॉल ऑफ लक्षित मेरे को तो अपने को तो क्या पाँच लाख का लॉट टाइटन अच्छा कम एडिट लिख ले नहीं क्या एक बार देख लेंगे क्या आई कॉल्ड ऑफ लक्षित लक्षित सेठ राकेश डोंट बाय द शेयर भैया नाइन्टी लैख शेयर मॉर्गन एस्टो सेल राइट ही कमेंट योर हाउस एंड गिव इट फिर अपना बैंक बैलेंस तो कभी रहता नहीं है राइट तो कभी किधर मैं बोला सला शेयर छोड़ने का नहीं बोले लक्षित को ओके तो आई रेंट द फंड्स आई क्लोज द फाइव लैक्स ओके देन आई बॉट स्लोली स्लोली आई बॉट ट्वेल्व एंड हाफ लैक्स देन फोर्टी थ्री फोर्टी फोर प्राइज आई वेंट टू मीट दैन नाउ यू नो आई बीन टू मेनी टाटा ऑफिस वहाँ गया माई मीटिंग वॉज एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक माई एक्टिविटी इज ऑलवेज टेक द लास्ट मीटिंग सो देन देर इज नो हरी टू यू नो फॉर इट कैन कंटिन्यू लेट तो My friend Ashwin had some person who we knew. So he said, "Rakesh, we'll go at 5:30. We'll meet him and then meet Bhaskar at six." So I went. Bhaskar sits at sixth floor. This fellow sits at fifth floor. All sexy girls, young boys, jeans. You know, you can't know you're in a Tata company. Yeah. You know you are in a marketing hub. That was right. the feeling I got. Then when I spoke to Bhaskar, see what he explained to me. You know, first of all, so dedicated. so respectful six o'clock he came he was on a meeting with the union he said rakesh you sit in my room right you were in the conference room i'll come in half an hour 6:30 he came he saw cigarette packet in my room he said rakesh will smoke there it took me a little time he came at about quarter to 7 he sat with me up to quarter to 11 his wife must have called six times right then he told the secretary just pick the phone and you know he would spend so much time and what he explained to me his approach he said the task is difficult we have to suck the capital and grow the business but he said rakesh will do it i know it is to be done and then i was constantly following it but you didn't end up owning more than 10% at one go so how did you build that conviction and then how did you say for example it's not doing well now so how do you manage to uh, still stick with such a large position which is uh, in time see i bought the shares at various stages from 32 rupees to 125 right You know how you have to buy. So I can buy when I buy down upon, right? So if you get the profit at 56, you tell the broker buy two and a half lakhs. Hit. So what he'll do? The he'll hit the share up to 65, and the moment he withdraws, price is 58. I mean that is a kind of conviction you had. You have to have 
you know that when you if you give an order of two and a half lakh shares, the price will go up by ten rupees and come down by eight rupees. So that's why I bought Kalpaj and I got the conviction. See, one thing is there, even today, that when India is going to boom and grow at twelve percent, how are you going to create an another type? Right. So I believe that day is still, it's still not come. Whether it's in jewellery, whether it's in glasses, whether it is in watches, whether it is now they come come into fray. I mean, scents, perfumes, so, uh, perfumes. So I think you can't create a titan type of a company. Right. And when the fixed costs, when in when the India booms really, which I think it will, the you know, titan's margin will go from 10 to 13, 14 percent. Right. And I have not seen a company with such kind of integrity. Right. And I agree that titan is going through a difficult period. Because of the fall in gold demand, and also in watches, but see a great company, you know it will recreate itself. No, yeah. so that conviction. Say for example, I have sold some shares. I sold twenty percent of my holding. Earlier, okay, six months back. Titan went from sixteen uh, hundred in two thousand eight hmm. to six hundred in two thousand nine. That didn't shake your confidence. No, because I think the best is still to come. No, the best will come when India grows twelve percent and retail demand in India. Was thirty percent. I still believe that I will live to see that day. No, so that may be the time to sell time. See where I am coming from is that if you tell someone over here that a stock is going from sixteen hundred to six hundred, and you didn't have an idea it was going to six hundred, it was going down that you knew markets were overvalued, and you had more than ten percent of your wealth in that. None of the people over here can hold. So I am looking for that conviction. How do you develop that conviction to hold on to that such a large position? How do I invest? You have an entry value, right? You have an entry assessment, and then I have feel of an exit value. If I believe that the original story by which I have, by which I have entered, is still alive, right? Then why should I exit? You tell me. So if, if I believe the original hypothesis by which I have invested is turned around, has turned it on its head, then I have to. Say So you will hold it for 10, 15, 20 years, whatever you feel the story is still playing out. Well, I hope to hold it until 2020. After that, I don't know what I'll do. All right, we'll take your word for it. I'll give you an example of Lupin. Yeah, please. Lupin gave no return between 2006 and 2008, and I think it has been the best performing stock from 2008 to 2020. Right. So stocks will go through periods of consolidation, right? And Kalpaj, it is not. I have a large holding both in Titan and Lupin. I don't think it's advantageous. He said no concentration. I mean, you know, I can, and I feel one thing that already Titan has given me such a great return. If it gives me 15 percent, what's wrong? Right. Today to sell my Titan and buy 10 companies, you know, deconcentrate my portfolio. Only sometimes it became too uncomfortable because I had an investment of 3,000 crores at time. So some of it I removed, some of it I lost in value because of decline in prices. Right. so there still doesn't hasn't given the people over here a full idea of say uh, how do you assess an opportunity how much do you allocate to that stock and uh, see nothing is of if if nothing of it is done scientifically nothing is done scientifically it is done uh, nothing is done scientifically it is intuitive it is intuitive and nobody participates in the final decision right no no my partner no no my research of people i decide on the spot I mean, I met the the Jivan Housing and Finance fellow, Vadwan, Vadwan, two times. Once on a flight, once he came to my office, and Amit went and met his finance people. I had about 50 lakh shares in four days. Right. What research I did? I don't have any research here. He, so you have built a database no, of no, knowledge no, about the market. Pulpa, no, see the it, opportunity has to be so alluring. He is the largest disbursor of housing loans, below 12 and a half lakhs in this country. His book size this year will be forty-five thousand crores. Housing lo loan to housing is going to be one of the biggest growth areas in the financial business. Biggest growth areas, and below twelve and a half lakhs, it's all priority lending. Right. Standard Chartered is buying his loans. Kotak is buying his loans. The IFC has invested with him. Right. Right. His father was a visionary who set this up in nineteen eighty-four. Right. For houses below five lakhs. Now, why does Shriram Transport have the have the PE it has? Because he has a niche in used uh, in used vehicles, this fellow has a niche in toilet housing below twelve and a half lakhs. So how did you how did you evaluate the management? 
because I value the man. First of all, I met him. He's eminently sensible. Okay. He has a dream. He has a vision. Second thing, I found out from the people who meet these. Right. See, the best people who know whether the management is good, bad, ugly, whatever, are the people who deal with the management in Right. I got a very good report. Right. So, boss is available at fifty percent, point five book, three times earning, four percent yield. So and he, one day he'll be one and a half, two times book. Forget the growth. And he's earning 40 rupees. He's, grow, he's growing by 20% every year. You think of it here, if at the end of at, at the end of 2016, today's 320, say in four years his book is 550, his 1.5 times book will be 800 rupees. Here. And I've seen this happening in the market. Right. That he wake up, he's going to he's going to thoda bade ga, everybody comes to Right. So I thought the bloody, the, uh, it is too apparent. I thought about 50 lakh shares in two days. Yeah. So, you saw it, you thought, and you felt it was very cheap, and you took it, and you have a target, uh, you think it can… I don't can, have a target price. No, target price, but you feel that it can sell at uh, two times book, uh, and the book Why will not? be… It can be sell when after. The bo book can be 60, 70,000 crores in uh, three years, yeah. four years, five years, and then you are basing your price on that. So, it's a rough thing, and along the way you will evaluate, and your holding period is not fixed, and your uh, sell price is not fixed. Similarly, escorts. Right. I don't dream what price. I have an assessment. Well, the escorts is 1,25,000 tractor capacity. It has got the number two man of Bajaj Auto is running escorts for the last one and a half years. Shridhar. Shridhar, right? We met Shridhar. I met Nikhil Nanda. He is the son-in-law of Amitabh Bachchan, the right. grandson of Raj Kapoor. But he wants to be something in life. Himself. Himself. Right? He doesn't want to be known as the son-in-law of, of, of He wants to create market value for his stocks. Right. And Shridhar is improving. Escorts margin is 12%. Mahindra and Mahindra margin is 17 percent. Why can't they go to 15, 16 percent? At 1 lakh 20 thousand tractors, they'll earn 80 rupees a share. Right. right. Uh, they've got land, when I don't consider all that. Second thing is you look at escorts. The debt is stable. They have interest coverage of four times. Right. So there's not going to be no crisis. So what do we have to think? Nanda Chore, this, that, I said, he's, everything is in the price. Right. When I first bought Lupin, D.B. Gupta was supposed to be the biggest chore in the stock market. I know. Even so finally. So, I mean, and if you look at the effect on profitability, if the external demand improves. Right. What is it that escorts need? Is India's growth at 12 percent? Agriculture growth at 5 percent? So, I think, I mean, that's how I decide, not very scientific. Right? I judge intuitively. See, what I do is I try and assess what kind of a performance this company can have over the next four, five years. And then I assess what kind of price it can have. Right. And don't forget one thing, that if uh, Scott is to make 1 lakh 20 thousand tractors, his sale will be 8, 9 thousand crores. Right. His speed will not be less than 50. Right. So if you look at the kind of profit possible and the kind of price possible, but there has to be patience. It's not going to happen in a day. Right. So I think, I mean, I don't sit on my term sheet, Amit La, we kya, next year kya IPS aega. It was all very broad thinking. Any other current investments and the thought process behind it? I bought first source that's gone up. Right. Because I thought the BPO industry will also do well. <coughs> then I bought SpiceJet. God help me. <laughs> <laughs> right. then, as, then, I, as I was saying, very transparent. What's wrong here? I know. The world thinks they're far, far smarter than I think I am. Then, what are these here? Anyway. Yeah. Share the both Leah Knight Spirits, TV 18, Kesoram. Are you either? Are you Deepak Bhai? Tamay kahi bhi nahi kyo? Are you software? I bought lots. Oh, or kya kya liya? Anand Raj. Anyway, we'll we'll let them ask the further questions. One topic which I wanted to see a lot. I know a lot of people over here who do really good work for charity and philanthropy. What are your thoughts on it? Now, there's a new trend, Azim, Premji, Shiv Nadar, you have interacted with Warren Buffett, Bill Gates. So, your thoughts, your, the causes you hold dear, the things you support? See, my father always judged me by not how much money I have, but how much charity I did. The day I became a billionaire, he came to know, he called me, congratulated me, but he blasted me for half an hour. Because he said, Saleh, it's so much money, it's so much money, it's so much money, it's so much money, my father was always 
very particular. See, all in all, I feel that the giver of wealth is God. And it is our duty to share this wealth. Right? And also I feel that, you know, there is a pain when you come to know that 40% of Indian children are born today. And we are thinking of buying private planes. Okay, I want to buy a private plane, but I must also share some part of my wealth with the, with the needy. So that's what I thought. And I've thought now that 25% of my dividend income I give to charity. So this year I give 17 and a half, next year hopefully I give 20 crores. And the biggest cause I support is an organization called Agastya. Agastya. What does it do? They, the basic idea is to take models to the rural areas and teach science to rural children. And we hope to interact with six, eight million children over a period of eight years. Eight million children? How many states? Uh, Karnataka will be about 45, 50 percent. Okay. Balance of all states, Rajasthan, Maharashtra, all of them are composite. And I have promised them a donation of 50 crores over 10 years. So I give them. <laughs> then I support, I give 50, I, 50 lakhs every year to the Tata Cancer Hospital in no. Calcutta. The causes which you uh, believe in, what, what would you like to do? Uh, say for example. Say I hope to donate 25 percent of my wealth on July 5th. 2020. 2020. It's a pledge I have taken. That's why I said I don't know what I'll do after tomorrow. So I'll be 60 that year. A guy with my habits, I don't know how long I'll live. So at that time, I'll sell 25% of my portfolio and give it to charity. At that time, and I hope it will be not less than 5,000 crores. So then, I hope, huh? it's a hope. So if that be so, I'll be able to do 500 crores of charity. And then I will associate some professional. The cause I want, first cause I want to do is fight for malnutrition. Malnutrition. And there you have to start from the mother. What happens when a child has malnutrition at the age of five or four? It affects him not only physically, it damages him mentally for all life. Then second cause I want to work is for water. You know, how we can give water in villages and clean water. I think I, they're the use of the old water systems, like a cycle, you know, this, Dams you make. Check dams. Uh, check dams. I think the check dams are very effective manner. I don't know, Uncle will be knowing better. Then I want to work and I want to create an institution, a uh, world class university. You know, something which excels. So if I have budget of 500 crores a year, I can spend 100 crores a year and make it over five years. Right. Then another thing I want to do is see, the biggest spender of charity is the state. Because all social welfare spending is charity. So I want to create a raft nader type of organization which, you know, studies how the government is spending money and pressures them how to do it better. Advises them. Right. You know, I, yeah. Then I had a baby after one, after 17 years. So I promised I'll bring up 1,000 children. I'm bringing up 150 just now. So I have to add 850 children. Because right. I want to really bring up 1,000 children. I pledged when my daughter was born. Then there are causes, causes. Then I want to work. small point, sir. Yeah. What are your views on doing it every year and doing it at the end of your career, large sum, like Warren? The question is that it's not what we, I will give permanently. Will, I think, outlast. Right? So, what is it that the giver of wealth is God? Now, I don't think that the Lupin is going to be the same as the Lupin. Do you understand? So, wealth will come from the share of the share. Right. right. So the question is the willingness to sell these stocks. Right. And I have decided that, you know, I used to think, Kabhi Udenge, and one day I decided when I'm 60, let me part with 25%. Right. I'm trying to get my wife to agree that 2030 give another 25%. Right. But she doesn't agree. And I have to respect her. I'll talk to Rekha Wabi. Right. Thank you so much, And sir. I'll tell you, you why so I want to give. See, remember one thing, I thought about it. That what is my legacy? Is my legacy the wealth I leave to my children? What could I do to society? For Aki Janwala as an individual who has earned the wealth with his own hands, what should I do in life? Should I leave my wealth to my children or should I leave it to society? And second thing is, my children will be young, then I will become 2,000 crores. And if they are young, then I will become 2,000 crores. That's the reality of life. Right? So I feel 
we, you know, it is God who gives wealth. Let us give him the power to give. Mother Teresa said, give, give until it hurts. So he's only going to give the power. Right? And about the present, let me tell you, you didn't ask for what but I'm saying, that I think it's a good time to buy equity. There are macro dangers. Those macro dangers could be apparent, but there is both sides. If those macros come in our favor, the kind of rise you're going to see in individual stocks and the market will surprise you, right? <coughs> if the macro doesn't come in our favor, there could be risk, but I don't think there is risk to capital. And the second quarter this year, second half this year, I'm, I'm told that growth will be far better than the first quarter, first half, because agriculture production is unimaginable, which is going to be 10, 12 percent. And a lot of other projects have come. And if I see my sheer intuitive sense of the market, ki bajar badhta hai, nobody wants to participate. I think it's a very good signal for the market. Right? So I, I intuitively feel it may be a good time to buy equity. I deserve the right to be wrong. I'm interested in everything I have said. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir.